Okay, real quick. I'm just going to demonstrate playing chromatically around G minor. So let me get this in my looper here real quick here. So I'm just going to play some chromatic notes around the essential notes of G, the G minor triad. So a, like a lot of chromatic approach tones. I'll play beboppy stuff in G minor. So that's just a real quick example of just something beboppy around G minor. All right. So what I want to demonstrate is this concept called Kesh. It's a very uh, theory nerd term. You might see it in some analysis textbooks or whatever. Kesh. C-E-S-H stands for Chromatic Embellishment of Static Harmony. Now you've probably heard progressions that use Kesh. The most, probably one of the most common ones is this, uh, what I call the Stairway to Heaven Kesh. <laughs> G minor, G minor major seven with a ninth on top, so G minor major nine. Back to G minor here, with G minor seven, and then C. And um, it's actually pretty complicated when you see it on a chart. You know, G minor, G minor major nine, G minor seven, C. You know, you've got all these like you know three different chords that you have to like. Oh, I'm gonna there's a chord I'm gonna play on that, and then there's another chord I'm gonna play on that. And then there's another chord I'm gonna play on that, and you know, it, it becomes increasing, it, you know, sort of incredibly complicated if you're doing one chord, one scale, one chord, one scale, one chord, one scale. And um, don't do that. Just think it's one sound with just chromatic embellishment, kind of like what I was doing on G minor. Let's see what it sounds like when I play the the harmonic cache over the the noodling I was doing on G minor. Let's see what it sounds like. So it works. Now there's other things that relate to that G minor cache. Things that you've heard of um, if we if we think of that as we can think of it modally okay this is one of those things that you have to like kind of use your imagination imagine this is a few different things okay not just a one chord but also a two chord or a one in harmonic minor or even melodic minor it's sort of this like hybrid sound of G minor G minor stuff and um, you you may have seen the uh, variation of the Stairway to Heaven Cash as the different bass notes that go down. So if you, if you want to analyze that chord progression, it's um, G minor, F sharp, what's that? Like uh, G sh F sharp augmented. G sharp, uh, G with a F in the G minor with an F in the bass, and then E E half diminished. Let's see what it sounds like with the noodling. That, that will work as well. Now, what if we use other modal sounds that are related to that G minor? Let me explain. So if that's a two, here's a five. Now, Herbie Hancock would do something like this sometimes on a vamp of a, of a sus. He might go to a sharp 11 and then a, just a fifth right there. So it would, I would call that... Uh, 
like a C9 sus, C9 sharp 11, and then a uh, C9. What it sounds like. down even more to there B flat which is like the three of G minor um, if G minor was the two F is the one B flat would be the four now here's one here's a kesh or a sesh or whatever C E S H that you've uh, it's very common it's the James Bond sounds like here. That works too. Now, what if I go to other modal sounds in... Um, I guess what would be F. What if I do this here? A, uh, a D, like an Aeolian Kesh. See what it sounds like with the noodling here. similar different bass note the a uh, phrygian thing you do different types of phrygians here's a natural five on top flat six how about a natural six and then a flat seven Let's see what that sounds like do something that was related to G harmonic minor we go to the sixth which is E flat and here's sort of a you could you could kind of think of this as a Kesh where it's a diminished going to major That's just going to work because uh, the chromaticism in G minor will sound like G harmonic minor. Uh, have I done all of them? Let's see. One goes down chromatically. That would be a. Uh, if that's a. Let's see. I could do that as a, a melodic minor. sound the what would it sound like if I did let's see a one no I don't like that forget that all right how about this one another related thing to G harmonic minor the fourth mode here's the uh, the Nelly it's getting hot in here what if I 
do a mixture of them. I'm just going to start from G and go down and see what happens. There's some popular Kesh progressions that you can just think of one thing over it and it works. It's a lot easier than playing one chord at a time. Um, anyway, yep, it's not easy, it doesn't sound right. There you go. Kesh. <laughs> 